Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a nice little trick and it's not completely done in Universe Sandbox. But if you guys are interested in making your own videos with the Universe Sandbox, this is a trick that I've used in the past that is actually really useful. So, we're going to be showing how to make a green screen in Universe Sandbox 2. And for an example, we're just going to use the uh, solar system map here, I think. No reason not to. So, how we're going to do this is pretty simple, actually. We need something green to be behind everything. So, what you're going to want to do is get a random rocky planet. Put it pretty darn far away. And then you're going to want to go to it and make it completely green. And you want it to be pretty consistent what color green. So... Here's my example here. You're going to want to get rid of all material other than silicate. So now we have this green planet. Next up, what you're going to want to do is go over to it. Look at it and make sure the texture isn't, uh, this texture is pretty consistently colored. So this planet will work for us. So now, we have to begin expanding it. Not enough to eat whatever we're trying to, like, record. And not by increasing its mass, because we don't want it to affect the simulation. So what we do is we're first going to position lock it so it doesn't move towards anything. We're going to just simply name it, uh, green screen. And we're going to get that mass, turn it down actually, because we don't want it to affect anything in the simulation. So once you have it to a point where you're 99% sure it won't be affecting anything, go to the density and turn it down. Make sure the mass is locked and turn down the density. And I'm talking really down, like... This is n not far down enough. We need to go lots of zeros. So, what we want is we want it to be so big it takes up the entire background of the video. Obviously, this requires it to be super, super huge. Like, really big. Bigger than a galaxy, even. Uh, the last time I used this trick, I made it bigger than Andromeda and we're just going to keep trying to add zero here we go now we can actually see it in comparison to the solar system so another thing is to make sure that the lit side of it is facing your simulation we got that right here because well the Sun is lighting it up and then we expand it more and more and more until it's the only thing you can see behind the simulation you're going for. So we don't want it to hit the solar system because that'll completely mess up what we're doing. Um, okay, so that's, that's kind of working. We do have a problem here though, which is that in this simulation it has a star. So the lighting is all based off of that star. So this actually isn't very bright. Let's see if I can fix that after making this a bit bigger. Although, as it gains proximity to the sun through this, it does get a little bit brighter. This is probably bright enough to pull off uh, the green screen I want, the green screen effect. But it's also uh, causing a bit of tint with everything. So we're going to try this with a different uh, simulation. Actually, we're just going to remove the solar system. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, so what I meant to do was grab everything here and delete it. So now the side of it's lit up perfectly uh, because there's no light source. And I guess it won't really work with stars, but if we get two planets here and we want them to be close to this, remember, not too close so that they get affected, but close enough that... Okay, we're going to want to modify this more because even just being 33 moons it could actually really affect our simulation 
But anything can be counteracted by just pressing that minus button. Getting the density down to a point where it is absolutely ginormous. We want it to be pretty close to Earth, not close enough that Earth will hit it. <clears throat> so there we go. We have it so that when we're in the middle of our simulation, we have a huge green screen behind it, and we can actually turn a bit without seeing it. Now, of course, you're going to want to use a bigger one if you're doing anything fancy, but we're just going to do a simple collision here, so let's just plop Mars down, and it's going to be right here. And look at that. That looks good. So let's uh, do this and record. Um, what we're going to have to do, though, is I'm going to have to do this in multiple chunks. So you're going to see a quick split here on the video. Okay, so now let's do... Oh, shoot. That didn't work. I went a little bit too fast there. So let's uh, redo this. Doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't seriously matter because this is just for... En uh, well educational purposes um but we are going to make sure this is uh actually gets a good shot here so here we go so we want to make sure our mouse isn't highlighting anything that we don't want it to be there we go so we've got a nice view of just earth and mars And now they are going to collide with each other. And we are going to see the effect any second now as it hits and boom! Explosion. Now we're going to float out of the frame. And there we go. That is the recording we're using. So let me just pause recording. And now we're on to actually using that. So whatever you use for video editing, I use Sony Vegas. Actually, let me boot that up real quickly. Okay, so we're going to be using Sony Vegas Pro here. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag in the video. We're going to trim it up to what we want, which is going to be where we actually were successful in getting it all set up. So let's just zoom to where that happens which is right here we actually start and now we're going to cut here we're going to move this down to the beginning and we're going to find the end which is here now I do have the mouse in the middle of it I wouldn't do that normally we're gonna crop out so that we do not have this uh, uh, tool thing on the bottom. So we're just going to shrink the screen to only include the planets. I'm going to save that. So that looks better already. And now we're going to do what's called chroma keying, where you can set a color to be removed. Now I do see a problem. Earth has a bit of green on it. So we're going to have to see how harshly this affects Earth. But like I said, this is just an example. You can fine tune it to get it pretty good. We're going to now click on the color, use a little dropper, click on the background, and as we can see, it makes everything black that isn't being included. So what we can do is modify the thresholds here. We can see what it does. So what we want, we want it to include both Earth and uh, Mars, but we do not want it to include the background. So right here looks pretty good. And if we play the video, we can see a little bit of green and coming in. And we're going to see the effect any second now as it hits. And boom, explosion. So that looks good. And now what you'd want to use a chroma here for is if we add a new video track and we go into uh we're just going to go into my pictures and find something we'd want to put in the background uh what if we want to um 
Actually, let's grab a video. What's a video I made recently? Videos edited. Oh, so let's do space engineers. So if we get space engineers and throw it in the top. Actually, this has to be flipped. This needs to go on the bottom. That's fine. We just move this under here. Look! We we've got we've got it over the video. Now we're the going to, it's a little bit green and I have a ton of audio overlapping. But slide with each other. We can we can see it over the video. And that's how you do uh going to see the Okay, there's no way you can tell what I'm saying when I'm playing these all at the same time. That's how you do special effects. We can also do a still picture, which may actually be better for this. Um Give me one moment. We go into my pictures and let's just grab something. Let's say we want Doge. We just grab our Doge. Uh, we actually want it down here. And slide with each other. And we are going to see the effect any second now as it hits. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to use what we see here to fine tune it because it's a there's a whole green orb around it which looks bad so let's get that high threshold and let's turn it up to the point where earth isn't disappearing but we get rid of most of that we can also target a different kind of green something a little bit brighter so it affects more of the background but i don't think that's going to work very well um we're just going to undo that Shoot. You know what we can do? We can actually fix it by going here and boop. There we go. And once you tweak it to your liking, you can also blur it so it's not as um sharp. I don't really do that, though. Boom. Explosion. Now Earth's going to float out of the frame. And there we go. So it's certainly not perfect, and you can tweak it and figure out what works best for you, but if you want to do green screening in Universe Sandbox 2 and you haven't found a way to do it yet, that's the way to do it. There may be a better way. If you find a better way, show me. But for now, thank you for watching. Leak a light. Le that's the second video in a row I've done that. Ha. <sighs> Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and tell me slash post any link to anything cool you do with this technique. And I will see you all next time.